Hey guys, we are out on the water right now. We've got a beautiful day and we're gonna be doing some crappie fishing, so stay tuned. We've got a beautiful day here today. It's a really nice spring day and uh, we're gonna come out and we're gonna be doing some crappie fishing and what we're gonna be doing is pretty much the simplest way to catch spring crappies. So let me just show you what's going on. So I'm pulling up here, it's three and a half feet. It's gonna, we're gonna find spots of five feet and you can see I've got a water temp of 62.7. This is the first time I've been out crappie fishing on this lake this year. And the water, that water temp tells me the crappies are gonna be up shallow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sight fishing or we're gonna try to sight fish today. You can see all out there, we've got bulrush. And I'm out in a little bit deeper bulrush, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna work through all this bulrush out here, and I'm gonna be looking for these crappies, and then we're gonna see if we can get them to bite. Uh, or I'm just gonna get up into where I can see the crappies are at, and then we're just gonna kinda cast and work our baits around these bulrush. So let's see if we can't get some fish. That guy, he hit that pretty good. Let me just show you real quick here what I'm gonna be using today. There's that crappie, throw him back. So I'm gonna be using a 30 second ounce jig with a white cubby minnow on there. That's what I'm starting out with. And I'm fishing it under a bobber or under a float. And I'm doing that because I'm in this bull rush. I don't wanna be snagged up all the time. So I'm kind of just looking for a pocket, casting in the pocket and then working it kind of just, you're trying to steer it around the bull rush. Sometimes you, know, you can't always do that. Then I'm using a seven foot light powered rod and I have six pound mono on here. Now I have a stiffer rod with me and sometimes the stiffer rod actually helps because you can uh, get these fish out of the bull rush a little bit easier. But I'm starting out with this light powered rod because where we're fishing, the bull rush isn't that thick yet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of fan casting. I've got the trolling motor on spot lock and I'm just kind of fan casting through the holes and then I'll let off, kind of float down or, or move to a different section of the bull rush and kind of just fish the area out. We got a lot of wind today. So it's helping as far as the fish see the boat. There's one, got him. There we go, nice crop here guys. Bam, look at that. It's helping as far as the fish see in the boat, but it's making it a little bit harder to sight fish. There we go, nice little crappie here. You can see he's got the spawning colors on. So, the lake we're fishing here today, this is a, it's a good lake for catching eaten sized crappies. You know, we're not keeping any fish today, but uh, if you were just going out to get a, a, a meal of fish, this is the kind of lake you look for. It's got a high crappie population, um, not a lot of monsters, but you, you know, a good number of fish. A lot of times when you get that first warm weather, everything's hitting the shallows, getting into that warm water. I think that's kind of what we've got going on today. You know, we'll see as the day goes on. You can see it's sunny, we've got some clouds. But as this day, you know, as it goes on here, things keep warming up. The fish will probably get more and more aggressive. There he is. Another one of those bluegills here. You know, a lot of times, guys, when you're fishing like this early, one of the keys is looking for that warmer water. You know, we've got 62 degrees here. The other part of the lake is not this warm. So when you're looking for bull rush beds to fish, Finding that warmer water a lot of times, especially early, can be one of the tricks to catching more fish. So we're kind of, you know, we used the graph. We saw this area had some warmer water. We came in, this is the first patch that we're fishing so far today. You know, we're gonna fish a lot more. This is the first patch we're fishing and we've got, we got fish here right away. My dad's fishing with me. And he's been catching some crappies there in the back of the boat. So. We're gonna see if we can't find some nice ones. There he is. Oh yeah. This guy was out in that, oh, it's a cr nice crappie here and he got me in the bull rush. There we go, guys. I pulled this guy. Nice crappie here. 
went deeper, smacked uh, that crappie right there. So what I did is I switched from the cubby to a little one inch Berkeley Galt minnow. And the reason I did that, I wanted something with a little scent I could fish slower. There we go, guys. Nice crappie right here. That guy was on that galt minnow. Bam, just like that. Let him go. Move down here kind of to a new patch. And still kind of the same thing. I'm just kind of working my bait through these bulrush areas. This is a good spot right here. We just hit this spot. My dad just popped, got one, I just popped. This is the second one right here. You know, but this is, this is when it starts getting fun. When these fish pick up. That was a smaller guy. But I'm just kind of working the shoreline and I'm using the spot lock to stop and get on these fish. Um, you know, when we hit a nice pocket or a nice area that's holding fish. The water's pretty murky right now, so, so I can't, it's hard to sight fish. You can see the fish when they're close, but it's not real clear, so that's why we're doing more fan casts, more blind casts, and uh, it's still really working today, though. There he is. I <laughs> smoked this guy. Who is this? That's a small one right there. There we go. Nice crappie there. You know, on windy days like today, I'm actually using this wind to my advantage. I'm casting upwind and letting that wind pull my bobber kind of through these bulrush, giving me some new territory so I'm not just fishing the same spot all the time. Guys, if you want to see today kind of the steps I use to go out on lakes like this and find crappies, check out my six step crappie locating system. It's basically the steps I use to go out on new lakes and find fish any time of the year. I'll also link that in the description of this video. Minnow's getting them right now. We found 64 degree water. We're finding some nice crappie now. There he is. Pick this guy up on a long cast. That wind is really gusting right now. Look at that guy. Again, these would be some nice eating sized crappies. Look at that guy. You know, they're not monsters, but a lot of fun. There's just a ton of fish out here. We're cute. We're really getting a lot of fish. Man, that wind is picking up though. Getting our cast out there. There he is, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that guy. smack that little one inch gold minnow and I'll be linking in the description of this video guys to all the gear that I'm using today uh, from you know rods what I've been using what my dad's been using I'll just put it all in the description of this video so if you want to check that out uh, you definitely can Guys, 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.